Hello, welcome. Thank you. Hi. Oh, you're traveling. <laughs> yeah, yes, I'm always traveling. traveling. <laughs> Wait, I'm just trying to get you on uh, my earphones. Yeah, I actually really planned to be at the office, but uh, uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I had some issues. Well, actually, you know, they always want to modernize everything, or, which I don't like, honestly. But anyway, so uh, they, they um, you know, this, they have this system that they take away all the computers or all the boxes, and now everybody has to work on the laptop. But that change happened today. So I actually literally, before I came to the office, I literally put my laptop at home and went to the office. But so that was not, um, so it was not really my, um, it was my intention to sit in the, behind the desk nice and properly. But uh, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. How are you ladies? No, we're good. Cold. <laughs> <laughs> So you're in Germany, Kefilbe? Yes, I'm in Germany. Okay. okay. Yes. Oh, is it cold over there? Yes, but remember, for me, it it takes very little to make me feel cold. Oh, oh yeah, and this is just the start of the winter. Yeah, I, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> it, feels, it feels like we're in the middle of winter so <laughs> okay okay but uh, like uh w when it's a little bit when the winter is maybe there for one or two months do you get more used to the cold or not really no how long oh. have you been in germany two years okay yeah. okay okay i've been in austria 30 years and the summer is always too short and as soon as the 21st of September comes, I start mourning because the <laughs> days are getting from? shorter. Melbourne, Australia. Oh, okay. So you're from a warm place. And I've spent more time in Europe now than I did in Australia, but it's it's in my blood. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, nice. <laughs> So, Kyungin, you've lived in Holland all your life? Yeah, actually, I lived in Holland all my life, yeah. I never lived somewhere else, actually, which is a bit odd in a way, but, uh, yeah, it's just the way it is. So, have, yeah. you, have you been to Portugal? Of course, of course. Do you go yeah. regularly? Well, um, I should go more regularly, Um I just I, uh, this summer I was there just for one little week, uh, and I I hadn't visited for like five years. Well, it was kind of random, but I uh, felt when I was there, I felt it was way too long, and I promised myself, but especially my ancestors, to come at least every year or maybe every half a year, but just you know for sh for small visit. Yeah, it's important because. It's interesting because uh, me and my sister both, we had this kind of experience in our own ways that uh, it was very good that we were there. Like it, our mother was very happy that we were there, you know. Yeah, my mother's in the spirit world, so yeah. Oh, really? Anyway. When yeah, did your mother yeah. go to spirit world? How long have you had? Oh, uh, <laughs> very long time ago, like uh, um, 20 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, yeah, we really felt it was very interesting. Uh, my, even my sister felt that, and she is not; she wouldn't interpret it like that so quickly. So uh, yeah, but somehow, for example, I I went by plane. She was already there, and I went by plane, and I kind of came down, and I saw this image of Jesus that you also have in Brazil, and I just started. I I just became emotional, and I just really I felt like, oh, what is this? <laughs> wow. but it was it was yeah it was just that so anyways and there's so many nice things so and also it's good it would be good for my language because i wasn't really raised bilingual and it's not i mean i have some base but i should just practice more but if you're there you learn so much in, in a few uh so anyways i have a new commitment 
Yes. <laughs> nice. Yeah. When you said it was too long, you meant the five years was too long before you went back to Portugal, not the one week. Oh, there was too I thought long. you said the one week. That's what it sounded like. Oh, it sounded no. like you meant no. one week was too long to be in Portugal. No, no, no. I meant I meant five years. Excuse okay. me. Thank okay. you. Yeah. yeah. No, it's very short. It was just because I already went to Africa, so it was just like to get along there with my sister, kind of to join them for a little week. That was all. So uh, normally I would never go like one week. Yeah, maybe I would go, but yeah, to Portugal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So two, the other two ladies are not coming, I think, uh, because uh, yeah. of the messages. Oh, it's such a different world. Uh, if the internet doesn't work. Yeah, you also have that in Lebanon, which is very odd because Lebanon, if I think of Lebanon, I think of a quite like a very, uh, like, it's a very modern country in a way, I think. Yes. So I know, yes. yeah, I, I know they have more problems with this. I think more recently, but I actually don't know if it's recent or always has been like that. I think the past few years, um, they were having a lot of problems and it's a collection of a lot of problems. But I always viewed Lebanon, Lebanon as a country that's a bit different from um, the others in the Middle East. Um, mm. in terms of culture and people having freedom and development yeah. as well yeah yeah it's it's a way more diverse and it's like it's not like it's not like the only muslim kind of country mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah it's on my list to visit too um, so yeah actually it was very nice because i i jumped in because zoe of the women's federation middle east she was not really feeling well or she had a cough, so I kind of jumped in to, to do some emceeing for the Middle East class, uh, like last week, uh, like a celebration uh, or the conference. And then, uh, and after that, I talked with Nancy. I didn't know her, so uh, mm. um, yeah, it was really nice to, to talk to her a little bit. And uh, yeah, it was very nice to talk to her. Yeah. So I, I, I actually thought she was also in New York, but I understood that she was not in New York. Yes, she was, <laughs> yeah. um, she was joining virtually because they would not grant her a visa, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. So I hope she, she mentioned that she will also go to this thing uh, the 1st of in November. So I hope uh, she can make it with the visa. She was busy with that. Oh, yeah. there's something happening in the U.S. in November. Uh, not in the U.S., but uh, in Geneva, they have like the the third and the fourth. They have a certain training or something with the Women's Federation, and I think the UN in Geneva. Mm. But I have to double check the title. Um, is it for policy? Yeah. Is it for policy UN relations? Something like that. Maybe, maybe uh, mm. advocacy. Something with advocacy. Yes. Yes, I'm attending that, but virtually. So this month, um, the first four Mondays, every there's two hours every Monday evening. Oh, okay. so there's a virtual one, and there's going to be a physical one in Geneva. Okay. Yeah, yeah I am also. Yeah, I'm. I will. I'm not sure uh, because I applied for the physical one, but I never followed up or I never paid. So I hope there's still space mm. for, for me to go, but I'm kind of also a little bit in survival mode, just day by day, kind of day by day, mm. <laughs> but, uh, or like kind of, yeah. So, yeah. And uh, I'm very happy that you can form the social media team, but what uh, I uh, think it's good to define what, what we, uh, what is the social media team and what, what do we want to do or what are our main things? What do you guys, uh, maybe Lily or, or, or Cecilia, whatever, who wants to? So I think we have to go first based mm -hmm. on how, did, how it started for um, Anais, um, Nancy and I, we had that one uh, event and Carolyn asked if we could do social media updates. Um, mm -hmm. And then we basically taking it from there. So the only thing that we have that we know of is the 
social media update, but then we were, I think we were thinking of um, other platforms. For example, I was thinking about Twitter as well, but we've since realized that everyone in the group is interested in learning from Lily. Yeah. Yeah. So it was the International Association of First Ladies for Peace Conference that you're talking about when Carolyn asked you to do the social media updates. Yes, yes. Okay. It, it all started at that time, yeah. Okay. And did you guys all meet together in New York? Were you all involved in that um, internship in New York or not? Yes, we all were, but Nancy was attending on Zoom. Okay. Yes. Okay. So that made it a little, yeah, it made it easier for us because we already knew each other on Sunday. Right, right. And how many were there all together in New York? Mm, was it about 20, maybe? Okay, okay. And Anna is, where is she? She's in Spain. Okay. So she's, she's the one who feels sick. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, she was saying her mother was sick and yes. she wasn't feeling well as well. So mm -hmm. what I thought would be really great if we could have regular updates. I've been... I mean, Carolyn tasked me, I think in February, gave me the title PR Manager for Women's Federation Europe and the Middle East. And that's great having a title, but I'm when I see all the work that I think should be done, it's, uh, it's more than one full-time job. Mm. And I'm looking for setting up my own business as a as a mentor as a counselor consultant and mm -hmm. i've been doing basically minimalistic stuff for women's federation because i set up the youtube channel i don't know how many years ago i've been filming events for women's federation for more than a decade so i've got a lot of historical material of our events and mm. I set up the Facebook group at the very beginning and then they changed groups to pages and then now they've changed pages back to groups and we have only only the page is active. Nobody has joined the group. And um, Doris McCann. I understand. What is the group? When you know how Facebook works, they have diff a little bit different oh, function, a different group. Oh, yeah, that's a long time ago. No, sorry, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Doris McCann, basically, when I yes. when I stepped down from Facebook, I handed it over and Doris McCann took over. And it was okay. only a couple of years ago when I started getting involved again in Women's Federation conferences when they started asking me to support with the Zoom meetings. Yeah. And I suggested live streaming that I mm -hmm. got the admin rights again on the Facebook group, which was actually the group that I had founded. But there were or there have been an, a lot of people working and involved on the Facebook group. And during one of our conferences last year, when I wanted to do live streaming and the hosting was done by UPF, then I gave Victor Renges the admin rights to the Facebook group. So mm -hmm. now he can actually do the live streaming without me being involved. Mm, However, okay. I see with Women's Federation and with so much young talent, it would be great if, so what Carolyn has literally done now with this young social media team is set up a team which I'm really, really inspired about. And if we can see what we can do, what we want to do, who wants to do what, I'm very, very happy to support in every way possible. I still feel totally responsible as the PR manager for Women's Federation Middle East and Europe. However, it's un unrealistic to even think that I'm really managing it because when I think of the, the web page, which the first job they gave me when they appointed me in February was I said, I'll close it down. 
And I thought, you make me a PR manager and you tell me to, to abandon the website. That is totally incongruent. If we are a media team, we have to use that website. Mm -hmm. But the fact mm -hmm. is it, it's, it requires a lot of work, some expertise and uh, willpower. So if there is somebody who's really prepared to invest some time and initiative in in working with it, there's a lot, really so much that can be done. And so I'm really keen to figure out what, what you really want to do, what you're prepared to do and what you can do and what you want to learn from me. And I really want to keep it in, um, in manageable bites so yeah. that we don't feel, oh, a meeting, Friday night, one hour. Oh, no. You know, queuing in like we have our, our, our WFWP meetings on Monday night or I, I think she's, oh, no, she's still there. Okay. <laughs> yes. Um, or, or our UN meetings. Sometimes they just go overboard with uh, overwhelm, you know. So we need mm -hmm. to, I want to make it manageable and it was, important for me to get a connection to see who who am I who are you who are we and see how we can work together and then I think whatever goes across whatsapp or any other medium is is fine but it would be really great to to get that personal connection that's what I really need to be able to work effectively yes I agree and um, I, when I saw you talking about what you do, I really thought that was your full-time job because it's a lot. Um, and what I would um, say is that it is important that everybody takes on what they can manage. If it's possible, could you break it down to maybe say, these are the areas of responsibility and perhaps this area would require so many hours or so many work if you can break it down or yeah, as much as possible for us in whichever way you can. The, um, in terms of the hours, I had to laugh when Merle shared the job description for New York, because as I said, the, the stuff involves more than a full-time job. And a lot of the stuff that I do I manage quickly because of my 30, 40 years experience of what I've already done. So even if it only takes me five minutes or an hour, it's still based on the on the expertise and all the other experience plus the the uh, the resources that I have built up, the mm. videos that I've done, the Zoom account that I've got, all all the other stuff. However, to to make a brief list, because the other thing what I did do, I made a a list for myself, just that conference, the IALFLP conference, what I actually did, I've put, I've made a document okay. of all the activities, well, I, it's not even all the activities of what I did just for that conference, because I didn't complete all the follow up. And I feel we have no way um, satisfactorily followed up and closed. <laughs> but I have made quite a list, which I can share with you. And um, before this meeting, I um, also made myself a, a list of what I thought the, the areas where we need to work. Um, Facebook was the one, which is great that each of you already has the admin, the editor rights on Facebook, so you can each um, do anything there. The question that comes up for me now in terms of the Facebook now for example Elisabetta in Italy was speaking to the parliament in Italy and has shared photos from her meetings there I don't know if you are in that mailing list if you've seen the the list the stuff that Elisabetta has been sharing it was possibly Europe um executive the WhatsApp group yeah Yes, I'm in the that oh. WhatsApp group where she was sharing. And okay, okay. So it's for example, Nancy and Anais that are not in that group. Okay, so this is where where I see 
a lot of public events happening in our area, meaning Europe and Middle East, and the potential to share it on Facebook. The question is Instagram, if anybody's interested in doing Instagram. Which you mentioned, so the question is, if you have a Twitter account, if you tweet, the question came up whether uh, to do a Women's Federation Twitter account or just tweet on your own account. I used to just, I typically just tweet under my own name. I think somebody raised, said that there was a Twitter account. Then I think the New York group or the international group uses, uh, has an account. And the thing is, what we need to be aware of there is that we use our hashtags, that we become aware when we have a hashtag and an address that we always use it, that we yep. have conformity, that we have a, a corporate image, that we become aware of who we represent and how we can really represent mm. Women's Federation effectively using yeah. hashtags. Yeah. To also be consistent in this way, yeah? to use the like specific hashtags, and then some we always use, and some some that are maybe more specific to the that conference or so. Yep, yep, mm. yep. So then yeah. the, the question. So what I would suggest is we make that list, have a look, and uh, share the recording of this meeting. Mm. What I wanted to suggest was a regular meeting. Is once a week too much for you? if we keep it to the half hour limit and what time is really suitable, is this a good time or what's a better time to meet? For me, 30, 30 minutes is okay. Yeah, maybe even too short, but if we really keep it, if it's every week, then um, it's doable. I mean, it's I like the interval because then it keeps you also active and we can just, take a little bit and follow up that we know what we're talking about and uh yeah i think for example this time at seven o'clock normally is a good time because then sometimes if you have another schedule then maybe it's before that schedule i don't know i mean um sometimes maybe i don't know if this is a good day for everyone but we should ask uh i guess but a half an hour, uh, even a half an hour, I don't know how it's for you, Cecilia, for you, Lily, or the others, but a half an hour, I could also make free somewhere during the day if I just plan it, I mean, during my work also. Uh, but yeah, maybe, I don't know, yeah, maybe we can see, keep it like this, but maybe we can also see when we are all together, what is a, the best is timing for everyone. Certainly, half because an hour is not long enough for all for all of us to get to know each other. And I, I felt even half an hour is no way long enough that it would have to go to forty minutes. But I, I recognised I want to make it something where we want to meet. You know, if we yeah. if we try to do too much at the beginning and it gets too much, there will be no willpower to come back together again. And I really want to create that dynamic that we really want to meet. Yes, yes. Yeah. Like for example, with the Europe meetings on Tuesdays, it becomes a bit difficult for me to attend. If maybe they were strictly keeping to the hour, I could take my lunch break at 9 a.m. or whatever, but I know it all go overboard. So it does become a problem. And since you know everybody here is already busy, it will be nice to have a time frame where we're able to take a short break from whatever we're doing and just be able to to meet but of course it you know we may have times where we have to meet for longer or whatever but that will come with the circumstances okay so back to the the um areas the medium that we use facebook was number one mm -hmm. um the, we have a youtube channel and mm -hmm. We want to build up the subscribers so that we can get, uh, we can have a, a a name which is suitable. That is not just the names, the numbers in the in the formula in the name for the YouTube channel, and the web page is the third thing. Uh, Instagram is an option, so that would be number four. 
LinkedIn, I think Women's Federation has some, but not the, not the European group. My Toastmasters group has just gone on to LinkedIn, which is you, yeah, because I do a lot with Toastmasters at the UN, and now they're finally... What, picked what, up is, that a, what is that again, Toastmasters? A rhetoric club, a public speaking club. Oh. oh, okay, nice. It's also in South Africa, I think. Yeah, it's worldwide, oh. it's international. Okay. So, okay, so Facebook, YouTube, web page, Instagram. So number five would be LinkedIn. Um, Twitter I didn't put yet. So Twitter would be also there. So that's number six. And mm. there's there's certainly other areas where we can be active. So mm. I'd like to hear from each one where where you think you'd like to do something and whatever you want to want to know, what you want me to address, I'd appreciate the concrete questions because I've done a lot of webinars already. I could share the links with you um, or you can just check my YouTube channel and we can take it from there and decide where we want to go, what we want to do because I really see the stuff that we are dealing with here is also an example, a template, a model, a role model. Mm -hmm that mm. can help others mm. we're doing we're building a team we're educating ourselves and we're making a difference and it can also inspire others yes yeah definitely yeah, yeah. i would like to think about it yeah so i'll put something together in writing i'll probably do a blog article or something like that and post it and share it mm -hmm. and yeah if we can I do know kind of just like because I have a, I kind of know what I want to do. And also I have a question actually to Kifiru, uh, because, um, yeah, what I want to do or what I know I can do is that uh, if there is a event, uh, is, if there's an upcoming event or also in between, I would like to just uh, by using these uh, platforms like uh, Facebook, but I also am also willing to, use my Instagram that I never use or um, uh, I want to learn Twitter because I think in this field of also the more politicians and stuff or maybe UPS, it is very valuable, but I have no idea how it works. But I just, uh, I would like to kind of be active in commenting, promoting in, in a smart way and do this kind of more like in a consistent way. So, um, so it gets more uh, attention online. So there's more possibility that more people will join. And I want, want to do that consistently and learn uh, how to use it most effectively. Um, and because I know that's something that if, a, if an event is coming up, I'm already I'm already trying to do that, but not I just to my friends or WhatsApp or something, but just very last minute and very uh, limited. But I want to do that to learn to use these tools better and more consistently, a little bit more in advance and then short term, a little bit like that. Um, and for the rest, also with this, uh, like what you're doing, Lily, um, for example, to uh, do the. Uh, maybe the Zoom era is over, but to, to do this kind of Zoom things, these technical things, to know how it works, um, the, the YouTube, how it works. I, I mean, just because I hear you talk sometimes, I know a little bit more like that you need a, <laughs> that you need a certain amount of people who likes you to get a, to be able to live stream and blah, blah, blah. So kind of this kind of technical things, how to be able to use it the best. And if we are, if, if I kind of know more and more, then I can also, uh, I would like to, at the end, finally, maybe, like you say, like, um, make it more uniform, the way the Women's Federation in Europe works with social media. But then that's maybe the final step <laughs> when we are really experienced, maybe, to make it more uh, uniform. So even in every country wants to do it their own ways. And you can see, for example, I noticed it, I think, for example, Italy or uh, um, maybe Spain or the UK, I have the impression that they already themselves, they work quite a little a bit with YouTube, for example. Um, and yeah, let's see how we can support that. But this, I just know that I want to do like this because I know 
uh, other specific things like building a website. I mean, for example, I am also very interested to learn that, but that just takes more time. And at the moment, I don't see where I could find that time. But for now, I would like to start with this, that I get more, that I learn and evaluate more about how to use this most efficiently. And especially with the Zoom, but also a little bit more this technical stuff that uh, what Victor is doing now, this, to just learn like that so that we don't specifically always need you, for example, Lily. Or what I also really like to learn is, and I think this must be very quite simple, is to, for example, if you have a recording or even a video, how to cut, how to edit it. So it's a nice, smooth uh, film, even with just uh, like videos from your, and I, I know there are software and maybe it's very simple, but I never did it. So that is also something that I would like to learn. Okay, this is kind of my general thing, what I like to learn. Um, and I'm excited about it because uh, I want to, I want to make it um, uh, promote better and also I like to learn these kind of things because I never learned it but I just think it's very easy must be not too complicated and interesting and nice to use so that's it for me and Kifinu I was just wondering uh, did you have a certain maybe just like based on your feeling a certain little evaluation on uh, because you were called to do, do this quite uh, on uh, last minute did you ladies have an idea or uh, experience? How was it? Uh, did it already add something or even to your feeling? Or how was I, it? Uh, what you I did? didn't know what to do, actually. But um, Anais had an idea. And um, we, we did very little. We were just writing um, short descriptions because there's only so much that you can do on Facebook, especially because Facebook will post, will show something like five days later. And that's why I was thinking Twitter is so much better because we you can use a, a hashtag and um, you can you can uh, live tweet uh, what is happening as they say it, or just give a little bit of highlights. But in the last one, I really felt that I was lacking in knowledge and I would definitely like to learn more especially on the technical side. I was not even thinking about the marketing side because you're now speaking about um, uh, marketing the events. I don't even know, know marketing, if I can put it that way. Oh, interesting, yeah. That was the only thing that was in my mind that, that that's the kind of the goal. <laughs> but it's interesting, yeah. So you see, everybody uh, has a different... Yeah. So, but you, you, you. Uh, so you uh, promoted it, but um, the, you did. You didn't get any feedback or comparison, like how it was or what kind of maybe little effect it had or something. Not really. I not guess. really. It, it was not even a promotion. It was just. Um, I forgot how many speakers there was when it was part one. I think it was Anais who wrote you know now we're about to start part one and this and this she gave a short description um I think I did part two and Nancy did another part so that was it and like I said the thing with Facebook is that it does not show people things as it happens so somebody this, for example this I also didn't know that mm -hmm. it doesn't how Facebook works like that it doesn't it doesn't I mean if you say, say something it's kind of that post is there immediately or not no the old facebook was very nice because you could set your you could change your settings to say you want to see the most recent posts of all yeah. your things for example now you're not even allowed to do that i hardly see um the things of the people i follow sometimes um when women federation posts i will see it you know few days later or something so facebook mm. is good for promoting future events and for live um showing Same. the live recordings um, but i think twitter is more effective when we are when we want to talk about what is happening at this moment yeah yeah lily what do you think i haven't been doing live to even though actually I've been at a few events and one of the one of them I was challenged by the organizer he asked us all to tweet immediately and to share and that's uh, something that 
was challenging for me. You, you need to be ready. You need to have the hashtags there. You need to know what. And if I've written it all out and I've got it in front of me, then then you can go, go, go. But it's quite challenging. And I think that's something that's perfect for, for you guys, for the younger generation, because for me, it was almost a bit overwhelming. I wasn't ready. I haven't practiced it. Uh, I feel more comfortable in, in Facebook. But the, I see there is definitely a market there. And because I think we should be targeting uh, the younger generation, your generation. I think that's perfect if we, I, that's why it was important for me to to hear from each of you because I believe where you already have a certain affinity is where we can build on that. And mm. if you have a certain deficit where you have a desire to learn more, I'm very happy to fill that gap. And I believe mm. that together we can really make a beautiful picture that that is comprehensive, that really reaches out on a broad level. Yeah. Definitely. And and you know what? Actually, Lily, like um, me and Kifilua, we are kind of the same age, but uh, we are like also like a total different generation from the other two girls because I think they are like 20, 25 yes, or something. They are, I don't... Younger. They <laughs> so, are yeah, it's, yeah. So they also have a very, also in the social media way, I think they're maybe even more skilled or equipped, or I think it would be, it's a... I hope. Yeah. I, hope. I, I really think so. I mean, from what I saw, Anais and Nancy also have skills that they bring to the table. Yeah. Yeah, because for example, I mean, even from my high school or something, I'm not, for example, it's a stupid example, but I am not so used to, for example, make PowerPoints. I didn't do uh, a lot, so I never practiced it. It's quite easy, but it's nice to know the little things. And I think uh, uh, just even a few years uh, after me, uh, people have to do it all the time. So then it's more in, in your, just your regular things that you can do. Uh, but also, for example, uh, Nancy made also uh, a flyer uh, for the for this Middle East conference. Like, uh, uh, and it was very you could see a, a young person made it, and it was really nice. And also, I I watched her like what she I don't know if you watched it, but she also talked there, and she also made a, a PowerPoint. But it's, it I don't know the rules of PowerPoint, but I could see that she definitely picked some boxes because it was very nice and very clear, not too much text. And it was very nice, very uh, well done. So I think she maybe has uh, also maybe even more naturally kind of this. And I'm again thinking more marketing, actually. <laughs> yeah, like um, so. But anyways, I think that uh, generation can also really help out. Right. Uh, right. And we can learn a lot from each other, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Great. Okay, then I'll write something up and share it with you all. I'll upload this video. Um, the, yeah, can I make it public? Do you have any objections I if I make it public? No, I don't have a problem. Right. No. Because no. in terms well, yeah. of my counseling mm -hmm. and, and mentoring, I'm eager to share what I'm doing with with others. And these types of examples are really helpful. So when you agree, then that's I can make it public and we can make it available even more broadly. Okay. Okay. Do you mean this recording, Lily? Yeah. Or oh, okay, yeah. For me, it's fine. But you mean public that everybody on uh, a certain channel can see it, or what? Do you mean? Yeah, yeah. If I put it in my blog and post it in my blog and share it with you, I mean, whenever anything comes up that you don't agree with, you just let me know, and I can, I can edit videos and I can cut things out or make them private. With mm -hmm. Toastmasters, for example, at the UN. Oh, we are a closed club. Only people who work at the UN, who have a badge, a grounds pass to get into the UN can join the Toastmasters Club. And I bought mm -hmm. the, the media equipment in 2012. I bought the video camera. So we started recording the, the club meetings. And there were two people who were absolutely against sharing anything publicly outside of the club, which is fair enough. However, the United Nations is working <laughs> with the whole world. And mm. I'm a person who really believes in transparency and reaching outreach. And I recognize mm -hmm. there are areas where we need to be. For example, I also work with women in nuclear. 
And when the women were talking about the security issues of, of uranium mining and the experiences that they had in North Korea or in Iran when they went in there as, as inspectors, then, of course, I was not allowed to publish that stuff. But I still mm -hmm. made a YouTube channel for women in nuclear. And those videos are there, but only private. Only the members can see them. So it's just a matter of, of, of preparing the, the material and making it available, accessible to the target mm -hmm. audience to recognize who who am I targeting, who do I want to share with. So that's um, just to explain a little bit where I'm at because I'm passionate about <laughs> communicating, about sharing. And I'm so yeah. happy when I have a team of others who want to do something where we can really make something more substantial. Yeah, I think Lily, I mean, uh, normally I would have maybe a little bit more objection because I think like, yeah, why would you make it public? But because you're so excited about it, I just want to help you out. <laughs> so kind of my objection kind of fades away or I just, I'm just more a little bit private in this manner. like, why would we make it public? But you just explained and for me, for now, it's fine, but I think it would be good to uh, next time also uh, just ask it to the other girls and then maybe we yep. have another yep. opinion or not. Yep. But uh, now you need yeah. to know you always have the right to to protest. So whenever you see something that you that you don't agree with where how it's being presented, you need to express that. You always yeah, but I just right. wonder like yeah. sometimes it also means that if it's in public. Uh, then it also means that, for example, we have to always think about maybe more what we're saying. Maybe Sometimes fine, they need maybe to be a bit more sensitive, yeah. Yeah, yeah but uh, anyway, Julia, let's ask the others also next time and maybe, uh, yeah, then, um, yeah, but for me, for the, this time, it's fine. <laughs> great, great. Yes, I also agree for this time, but um, in my mind, I'm laughing like, okay, I wish I had dressed better and put on makeup. But um, otherwise, it's fine. Um, but I would like that for the future, this decision is taken only at the end of a meeting so that we don't feel that we need to hold back or because we're still yeah. going to go to the public. So we should be able to be free to express ourselves. And at the end of a meeting, if we feel, okay, it's too much, then it doesn't go public. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That That's also has to be there. Yeah, absolutely. And I don't yeah. want to. I don't want to create a situation where people then withdraw because they feel what the word in German "überrumpelt." No, that you, you know we don't want to. It's the same in Dutch. <laughs> it's the same word in. Okay, I, I don't even know how to say that in English. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I want to create an open environment yeah, where like we can really communicate well, honestly. Yeah. 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 Great. Well, I'm glad that we made it this far, that we got to talk. I'm looking mm -hmm. forward to meet with Anais and Nancy. And I didn't see the Middle East conference. So um, I believe there is a recording of that. So I'd love to have a look at that because I heard a lot of praise coming in. They were very, very happy with what you did. So if Nancy is on there too, then that would be another reason for me to watch it. Yeah, Nancy is on part one. And she really did very nicely. But Honestly, I was surprised that they were uh, excited because actually the program, I did the celebration part uh, last minute because so we did it was not so well. But actually it was very, quite long and um, may, I think too long. And um, for people, for the ladies who have been there for decades, who were there, it was nice. But um, yeah, I just felt like it was too long. So it, at some point... Yeah, I felt I maybe I was repeating too much, or I don't know. I, I never watch things back, but I was happy they were happy. But I felt a little bit like, hmm. anyways, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we, I always feel like you can do better. This yeah, I get feeling. the feeling with a lot of our women's federation meetings that they just go over over the top. They just go too yeah, long. Like you said, yeah. yeah, and I'm sorry, and I I also felt surprised that there were just uh yeah at the max there was like 36 people but i actually expected 
way more people. I mean, I didn't promote anything, but that was again, like a reminder for me, like, oh yeah, next. But I also think that's a result. I don't know if it's true, but it's, uh, yeah, I have the impression that uh, the president of the Middle East also does everything by herself or like a lot. So then maybe there's no time to promote. I don't know. This is kind of was kind of my feeling. I think we could all the chapters could at at some point uh, work together way more efficiently, uh, but step by step. So that's an important yeah. point. I really absolutely agree there that there's a lot of potential. But we need to create that dynamism. We need to, we can be the example. Mm, be the team definitely. that can do something. Mm. Yes. Yep. Okay. okay. So, thank you, ladies. Keep it short, and keep so it we, sweet. Okay. Yeah, it's for, uh, if we, can we say next week the same time? Next week, we same start. time. And then we'll take it from there and decide and think about it. Whatever time would suit you better. And if we communicate with Anais and Nancy as well and figure out if this time is, is possible or not for them, and then try and find a suitable time, and we can discuss that next time. Yeah, there might be, there might be uh, I, I might be not available for one time, but I will let you know in time, in time, to make okay. another time, maybe. Yeah? Great. Okay. So, okay, ladies. See you next nice week. Thank, okay. you. Thank you. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.